Okay, so this is a new segment I would like to call Saint of the Month. Yes. So um, maybe we'll to come up with a different name, but every month we have a calendar, we have a Saint of the Month. There's a it changes every single month. We have different mm-hmm. ones. It's on the top of the calendar. If you guys haven't don't see our calendar, it is on our website. Sometimes it ends up at the bottom. <laughs> sometimes it ends up at the bottom. That's a little secret right there. <laughs> Depends it's going to be on our website. Link down in the description. But this saying of the month of September, as of this recording, is learn from the past, live in the present. I think it's learn, for, learn from the past, but, but live, live in the present. present. Yeah. Something yeah, like that. And we do this thing here where we ask the kids, oh, who knows the saying of the mm-hmm. month? And then sometimes we'll ask the meeting. I don't think we usually do that right Not now. Not all the time. But, yeah, you know, um, we wanted to talk about the meaning of what live in, uh, learn from the past but live in the present. Learn from what, the past what but that live in the present. What that means in life, what that means in karate, and what that means in, you know, school, stuff school, like that. School, just, you know, you know just everything Anything. in the world. So, as humans, we have a really bad tendency of not learning from history, right? Like, 1944, 19, uh, 1920s, right? Um, wait, wait, let me keep going. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, I'll stop there. Uh, wait, wait, there was one, uh, the recent scare of 2020, 2020. Right, World War Three or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, as you, we, we don't learn. <laughs> but learning from the past, but living in the present. We always want to look back back and see okay how can we make ourselves better what can we do to make ourselves even greater what can we do to say wow this is how i can change this is because no matter how old you are how young you are you can always have a chance to make yourself just a little bit better make a difference but you can't forget to look and just stop and smell the roses Mm. you can't forget to just say wow life is so good right now or wow I was able to accomplish this much in this little of time. You have to remember, how can you say, okay, I need to learn from this mistake. I need to learn from what happened. Say, you know, say you had a really bad relationship. You broke up with your boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, whatever. And you're like, wow, that really sucked. So you have your time, you cry, you know, you you have your coping time, you do this. But now you have to go and look forward and say, okay, what mistakes did I make? What mistakes did that other, my significant other make, or ex-significant other, if that's something, right? You have to go look and say, okay, maybe I can change myself, right? To be better than what I was before. You can't go in everything and saying, I didn't do anything wrong, right? Because there might be something that you instigated on accident. You have to go in and say, wow, okay, this is the mistake I made. It could be small, it could be big, but this is the mistake I made. Now, tomorrow, what am I going to to do to make that better? Make that weakness even, make that weakness my strength. So now, but don't forget, whenever you're making yourself better, you always have to look into the mirror and say, okay, so this is what I want to change. What goals can I set? What can I do to change? And now, what am I going to, to do? What am I going to do to change this moment and say, I'm living in the moment right now? What can you do to make yourself genuinely happy? Is it your kids? Is it your significant other? Is it your dog? Is it the activity you're doing and you love? What can you do to make yourself learn from the past at the same time enjoy the moments you have with the people around you? Yeah, all right. So, I mean, I'm going to go off track here now. <laughs> I was being motivated. Yeah, I, thought, yeah, I was yeah, hoping no. you would stop. No, 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 <laughs> no. It, that was fantastic. That's, that was fantastic. Um, but I, I was going to talk about what that means in a literal sense. Uh, recently, for school, I had to write a paper for history class. Because why do we study history? That was that was literally what the paper. Oh, really? That was the paper. Why? That's cool. Why do we study history? I would like to hear your thoughts on this because I have my own ideas. Why right? do we why do we study, study history? history? One, this is this is all my opinion. Of course, everybody has different opinions. One, okay, to learn from it, of course, mm. to understand our mistakes. Okay, to understand what we did correct. Okay, and then to sort and learn, and just to understand how our culture became. I like all those. The one I hate the most, though, is the learn. From the past, as a very cliche, 
a very overused term in my opinion, mm-hmm. right? Because when you look at the past, right, you can see, oh, we made these mistakes, we did this. Has that stopped us from repeating those mistakes? So how would you change the phrase though? I would say to understand to the understand past. the past. Yes. Okay. If to change to um for the for uh, that to be able to change to be able to um I just lost it. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh, to uh, be able to change as a society, we have to understand. Mm. Understand understanding. We have to be able to. In- we're not so not just learn, but yes. completely understand the steps you that happened. Do you, in school, you may learn something, but do you understand it? <laughs> never. Exactly. <laughs> right. That's the same thing with our history. You will never. We will never change. We will never grow. Did your professor say anything about that paper that you wrote? My professor loved it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I, awesome. I, I got 100% on that one. Hey, there you go. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, nice I like that. this idea. I like that you pointed out it's very cliche. Nice. Right? But nice. But under, to understand, uh, I, I guess I don't have the ex- prop exact definition. So let's, let's say this then. In order to learn from the past, you have to understand the past. But you can't be so far back in the past where you are you not enjoying life as it is. You can't you can't be so stuck on this one point in time that you forget, oh, I have things that are happening to me now. And it's another way, in my opinion, it's a way to overcome the certain condition that you are in at the moment. If you are stuck in that moment, then you will never be able to move forward. I know that sounds super cliche. It's in anime. It is in movies. I totally understand. <laughs> but it is, in my opinion, one of the more true statements they could possibly say. If you are stuck in that moment, you will never be able to move forward and enjoy life as it is. I mean, you see that in all the movies where a character's less like, at the beginning of the movie, like somebody important to them maybe dies. Died. Or right? they had a really nasty yeah. breakup because yeah. their significant other cheated Something on them. Something like that, right? And they're stuck on that one moment. And they don't realize all the good things that are coming towards them because maybe that event happened, right? Maybe, I I don't know, what's a movie I recently watched about that? But um, somebody, like their parent dies, you know? But they don't realize, oh, I, this is a good thing. This is a chance for me to grow as an individual. Mm-hmm. This is a chance for me to go out into the world, meet other people, right? Chaos and bad don't necessarily mean that they're meant there to hurt you. They are challenges for you to overcome and make yourself better. We have to take most of the time, not saying all the time, sometimes you need to take a step back and take a breather. But some of the time you have to go in those challenges face first, head first, and take it on and you grow as someone even better than before. And that's Enrique and other if you are in that situation, will be jealous. But now don't give them that power. <laughs> Keep that power away and say, ha, this is the new me now. Yeah. So one more time, let's repeat the same. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Learn, learn from, from the past, past, but live in the present. But yes. Learn from the past, but live in the present. I think that's very. That's a very good saying of the month. It's a very good saying right? of the month. And hey, uh, parents that are watching this that are from the world of martial arts or karate school, make sure your kids know this, <laughs> right? Because um, we might ask during class, and if they know it, uh, we do... A reward system right now <laughs> called Karate Box at our dojo, right? Which allows the kids at our yearly winter celebration to get toys. Mm-hmm. And they might be able to get an extra one. <laughs> I'm not saying they will, but they might be able to. But um, thank you for listening to our <laughs> monthly segment, a new segment for the saying of the month. Hopefully this was motivating. Hopefully this was really awesome. This was different. I sort of actually enjoyed this. <laughs> I went on a tangent, but that was fun. Hey, it's only 10 minutes. We're it's only still 10 okay. Minutes. That's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. And I mean, stop. It'll, it'll slow down a little bit. It's going to be less time because, you know, we had to explain a little bit. It today. depends on the well, it depends on it. Yeah. But um, thank you so much for joining this monthly segment. We Usually this will be at the beginning of the month um, because we just <laughs> I just thought of this idea in the middle of the month. Um, it's a little late, but we'll put this at the beginning of the month. So thank you for listening. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Like us, subscribe on us on YouTube and Spotify. Uh, See you guys in the next one. Thank you. Take care.